story time about why my lunch lady always hated me in high school I never thought this would happen to me this story takes the biggest turn at the end okay so it first started off as just my lunch lady eyeing me weird whenever i would enter the cafeteria or whenever i would pay for my food she would always 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 give me the weirdest look and then sometimes she wouldn't even let me get lunch she would say oh you don't have enough money on your account when i knew the day before i just put money in so then i wouldn't be able to eat lunch i reported her a couple times mind you my mom works at the school i even told my mom about it she would just lie and be like i never said she couldn't get her food mom told me that if she ever refused to let me get food again to just come up to her classroom and then she'll give me something to eat but i was so confused because my mom works at the school and i expected her to talk to administration about how the lunch lady is treating her daughter but she didn't say anything to administration until one day this time i actually didn't have any money in my account and i did not know went to go get my lunch as usual when i go to check out my food the lunch lady throws her hands up knocks my plate out of my hand she says i'm just like my mom because we're both greedy like for part this is part two of why my lunch lady always hated me in high school so like i said this time i actually didn't have any money and i went to check out my food for lunch the lunch lady knocks my plate over and says i'm just like my mom since we're both greedy and i had no idea what she meant said she meant to throw her hands up she didn't mean to knock over my plate everyone was looking at us and it was so awkward so i just walked away and i didn't even sit down for lunch i just walked out of the cafeteria and went straight to my mom's classroom i had no idea what the lunch lady was talking about my mom doesn't even talk to her or at least i thought she didn't so like i said i was on the way to my mom's classroom after the lunch lady yelled at me in front of the whole entire cafeteria and once i got to my mom's classroom i told her exactly what happened she was in the middle of class when i tell you my mom stormed out of her class went straight to the cafeteria pulled up on the lunch lunch lady in front of everybody and she grabs her by her hair the lunch lady tried to grab to the cash register the cash register fell and money went everywhere all you could hear was the coins dropping on the floor like ka ching ka ching she was so close to jumping in but my mom had her other teachers had to come into the cafeteria to break them up and i got a time to like for part three okay so this is part three of why my lunch lady always hated me in high school like i said my mom dragged the lunch lady in front of everyone in the cafeteria some teachers came and pulled them apart they immediately fired my mom obviously my mom said forget this forget y'all and she took me and we both went home well on the way home she told me the beef with the lunch lady so apparently the lunch lady had been flirting with the history teacher and my mom and the history teacher were seeing each other on the low my mom was married so i was like so what about dad she said that my dad just didn't make her happy anymore but the problem with the lunch lady was the fact that all the teachers at my school are messy as fuck they all talk shit about each other they're always talking about another teacher and so basically all the staff knew just because of rumors and gossip that my mom and the history teacher were kind of seeing each other everyone knew including the lunch lady so once the lunch lady started flirting with the history teacher too they low-key started having tension with each other but it was unnecessary for the lunch lady to take out her anger on me so that's why she whooped her ass by the way this happened when i was in high school i am now graduated out of college and my parents are divorced now so this is why they call me miss petty and this is also why you should never let your boyfriend have a girl best friend let's get right into it so my boyfriend had this girl best friend who he was friends with for like two months before he met me so yeah not a very long time over the course of those two months she had bought him five thousand dollars worth of stuff that's a little too nice for a best friend for me but my boyfriend told me to trust him and that they were just friends i should try and talk to her and shit maybe me and her could even become friends so me and her actually did hang out one day it was me her and my boyfriend and we were all drinking my boyfriend passed out a little early so it was only me and her awake i was getting really tipsy and i ended up throwing up all over myself my boyfriend's girl best friend laid my head back on the sink and started washing my hair and i was like oh my gosh what if i spoke too soon about her what if she's actually not that bad and she was washing my hair so nice i felt smooth and silky a little too smooth and silky well i woke up the next morning to notice that my boyfriend's best friend is gone and when i went to the bathroom and looked in the mirror i was completely bald part two of why they call me miss petty so like i said when i woke up my boyfriend's best friend wasn't there and when i looked in the mirror i was completely bald so i woke up my boyfriend and he's shocked he's like what the fuck did you do and i was like what the fuck did i do i know his best friend did this when i texted her number the messages weren't going through and when i checked her socials i was blocked on everything i made my boyfriend dm her on insta but we watched her instagram story and there were so many pictures of me bald while i was asleep at this point i was literally bawling my eyes out my long luscious hair was gone i even called my mom mind you we were all in college so yeah like i said i was bawling i was honestly ready to give up on life right then and there i was regretting even going to college i'm just kidding stay in school kids but those tears ain't last for long child mm -mm. i was gonna get my sweet revenge so little old me made a sugar daddy pay I did some follow for follow so i could get some followers so it could look legit and i posted some pictures of an old man i found on facebook then i dm'd her and asked her if she wanted to be my sugar baby and she said yes this is where the fun begins like for part three
This is part three of why they call me Miss Petty. So I made a fake sugar daddy page and DM'd my boyfriend's girl best friend and asked her if she wanted to be my sugar baby. And she said yes. You want to know why she said yes? Well, well, well. That $5,000 worth of stuff she bought for my boyfriend came in handy. A week had passed since she posted all those pictures of me bald while sleeping. Oh, by the way, she saw Nair in the bathroom and used that to wash my hair. Well, a week passed and over that week, I sold all the stuff she bought for my boyfriend. I actually ended up getting like 6 k back. So basically, I told her I would pay her $1,000 a week in exchange for some sexy pics. And I sent her $700 right there so she thought it wasn't fake. Bitch didn't even know she was getting her own money back. Eh. So I sent her $1,000 a week for five weeks in exchange for pictures. Well, once all the money ran out, it was time for revenge. I gathered up all the pictures that she sent me, made a fake page pretending to be her, and sent the pictures to her parents, her job, the school, and to multiple girls' boyfriends on Instagram with the text, break up with your girlfriend because I'm bored, but shh, don't tell anyone. Like for part four. This is part four of why they call me Miss Petty. So after I catfished my boyfriend's girl best friend and posted her nudes everywhere and sent them to a lot of girls' boyfriends, friend obviously she was getting so much backlash and everybody was posting about it and everybody was coming at her so many people wanted to beat her ass it was hilarious she kept trying to say no it's not me behind the fake page but nobody believed her she had to go completely ghost on social media lit too did everybody know i was the mastermind behind the whole thing she didn't show up to school for like a week or so but then the day that she came back I'm not exactly sure why she came back, but she got jumped by five girls. But not only did she get jumped, they threw her in the trash can. I almost felt bad until I remembered how long and luscious my hair used to be. Let this be a reminder to everybody to just stay in your lane. Eventually, she dropped out of that college and I'm guessing she went to some other college, but everybody hated her there, so she had to move. Damn, karma really is a bitch and so is your mom. This is a story time of why I dropped out of high school on my first day. And when I say my first day, I mean my first day of freshman year. After this, I never went back. So like I said, it was the first day of freshman year and I have extreme anxiety. My anxiety is literally so, so bad. I literally get anxiety just by waking up in the morning. So I was super anxious for my first day of high school. I literally was running around the school. I could not find my classes. I walked into the wrong classroom several times. It was so embarrassing. But then I finally made it to my first class. I sat down in the front of the classroom. Bad idea. After running around the school and not being able to find my classes and walking into different classes that I wasn't supposed to be in, which was so embarrassing, my stomach was literally in my ass my stomach was literally bubbling because of my anxiety i felt so much pressure in my stomach i needed to let some out and you know i thought i could get away with it you know a little silent fart you know it was silent but it was not a fart I shit my pants. Then the teacher says we're gonna go around the classroom and everyone has to stand up and say one thing about ourselves. Starting with me since I was sitting at the front. Now this is what happened like for part two. This is part two of why I dropped out of high school my first day of freshman year. So like I said, I just shit myself in class. And the teacher says we have to go around the room and everyone has to stand up and say something about themselves. And of course, I had to be sitting in the front of the classroom and I had to go first. So I just told her I didn't feel comfortable standing up and I'd rather sit down. But she said that I had to stand up and everybody has to stand up. So I clearly did not have many options and I decided that I was gonna stand up. And so I stood up and everybody gasped, even the teacher. The teacher literally made everybody get out of the classroom and I knew from there on out I could not show my face in that school anymore. I knew all day everyone was gonna talk about that one kid that shit themselves in class. Yeah, the teacher took everyone out of the class and then I got myself cleaned up. Went to the office, told them what happened, they called my mom, they let me go home. I cried to my mom and told her I could not show my face at that school anymore. And so she pulled me out of high school and I just did online until I graduated. This is part three of why they call me Miss Petty. So I made a fake sugar daddy page and DM'd my boyfriend's girl best friend and asked her if she wanted to be my sugar baby. And she said yes. You want to know why she said yes? Well, 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 that $5,000 worth of stuff she bought for my boyfriend came in handy. A week had passed since she posted all those pictures of me bald while sleeping. Oh, by the way, she saw Nair in the bathroom and used that to wash my hair. Well, a week passed and over that week, I sold all the stuff she bought for my boyfriend. I actually ended up getting like 6 k back. So basically, I told her I would pay her $1,000 a week in exchange for some sexy pics. And I sent her $700 right there so she thought it wasn't fake. Bitch didn't even know she was getting her own money back. Eh. So I sent her $1,000 a week for five weeks in exchange for pictures. Well, once all the money ran out, it was time for revenge. I gathered up all the pictures that she sent me, made a fake page pretending to be her, and sent the pictures to her parents, her job, the school, and 
happened to multiple girls' boyfriends on Instagram with the text, break up with your girlfriend because I'm bored, but shh, don't tell anyone. Like for part four. This is part four of why they call me Miss Petty. So after I catfished my boyfriend's girl best friend and posted her nudes everywhere and sent them to a lot of girls' boyfriends, obviously she was getting so much backlash and everybody was posting about it and everybody was coming at her so many people wanted to beat her ass it was hilarious she kept trying to say no it's not me behind the fake page but nobody believed her she had to go completely ghost on social media lit too did everybody know i was the mastermind behind the whole thing she didn't show up to school for like a week or so but then the day that she came back i'm not exactly sure why she came back but she got jumped by five girls but not only did she get jumped they threw her in the trash can i almost felt bad until i remembered how long and luscious my hair used to be let this be a reminder to everybody to just stay in your lane eventually she dropped out of that college and i'm guessing she went to some other college but everybody hated her there so she had to move damn karma really is a bitch and so is your mama đây là một số mẫu mà trong thời gian qua thì đã chia sẻ cho mọi người trong các video mà thi up lên đa số mọi người sẽ hỏi thi là sử dụng màu gì thì hôm nay thi sẽ chia sẻ về cái loại màu vẽ mà thi hay sử dụng nha thi vừa sử dụng sơn treo và vừa sử dụng set treo vẽ ở trong các video gần đây mà thi hướng dẫn các bạn đa số là thi dùng sơn treo nha về cơ bản là vẽ rất là nhanh nhược điểm là bạn nào mà lấy treo nhiều quá thì thành ra hoa đèn sẽ không khô chỉ cần điều chỉnh cái mức treo của mình lại là được nha mọi người về cái treo hai bô đi đang cầm trên tay này thì màu xinh khỏi bàn luôn giá thì rẻ khỏi nói luôn lên thì để trên bio nha so i just received a very cute package i have some very cute items inside just want to make a public service announcement that i will be eating the girlies up on my instagram very soon very soon i will be eating the girlies up i post all of my makeup inspo on there all of the story time receipts that i have in my stories are all on my instagram and i get most of my stories submitted on my instagram as well so make sure to go follow my instagram guys i'm trying to get to 100k i also take stories on my snapchat so make sure to go add my snapchat I post a lot of updates on my snapchat and my instagram story when i'm going to post a story time if i posted a story time already also when i go live so you guys don't miss my lives love you guys so much and if you love me and you support me then make sure to go follow my instagram and add me on snapchat <laughs>
time was in the Airbnb. So yeah, she noticed that he blocked her from watching his story because her friend could see his story, but she couldn't. And clearly he did not want her to see that he's laid up with another girl in that same Airbnb that they were just fucking. Anyway, so she obviously texted him and was like, what the fuck is this? She threatened to expose him and everything. And he replied saying, well, if you expose me, I'm going to expose you. She said, what do you have against me? And he replied with, I know you have a boyfriend. And she did have a boyfriend. So she said, oop. And he proceeded to tell her that he only wanted to use her for pussy while he was at Playlist.